So in the last video, we talked about the reactivity of metals and how are they related in the reactivity series. Now, let's see some of the reactions involving two metals okay through a displacement reaction these reactions are called displacement reactions where a reaction happens that involves a more reactive metal and a least reactive metal now let's see the first equation we have here is iron oxide reacting with aluminum salt so the first thing you need to do is locate the metals in the reactivity series so let's see here is iron here is aluminum and you ask yourself this question, which metal is more reactive? Well, the one that comes first is the more reactive. So in this case, aluminum is more reactive. Now, what happens is, since aluminum is more reactive, that means it's going to reduce iron. So what happens is, iron will become iron solid. Okay, and here, reduction happens. Okay. Now the opposite will happen to aluminum. Now aluminum will become oxidized, means it's gonna gain oxygen. So aluminum will become aluminum oxide. Okay, and now you have your reaction. So let's recap this. The first thing you need to do when you have a reaction is locate the metals in the reactivity series. And you ask yourself this question: which metal is more reactive? And the more reactive metal is going to reduce the least reactive, like in here. The aluminum acted as a reducing agent and it reduced iron oxide to iron solid. Okay. Now let's look at another reaction. Well, here we have zinc solid in a copper nitrate solution. So imagine this, we have a flask right here that contains copper nitrate and there is zinc solid so I pretend that the pink dots are the zinc okay so what happens is the first step we said we need to do is locate the metal so here is zinc and here is copper now what's gonna happen well we said that the more reactive metal will reduce the least reactive so in this case copper will become reduced so reduction will happen reduction okay so copper will become copper solid and the opposite will happen to zinc zinc will become oxidized so zinc will become zinc nitrate and notice this Zinc became the solution and copper became solid. So here, let's write here before we move on. Oxide. Okay, oxidation. Okay, happened. Now, this solution would be as follows. Now we have the flask. And now the zinc became the solution and the copper became solid so the opposite happened you see now I want to point out something for you guys it's important now we know that carbon is a non-metal and carbon exists between aluminum and zinc in the reactivity series so here is carbon now although carbon is a non-metal but carbon can displace zinc iron and lead and so on so Copper, sorry, carbon can displace any metal below it in the reactivity series. Now, let's recap. We talked about displacement, re displacement reactions and we said displacement reactions involve two metals where one is more reactive than the other. And we looked at the first example. We had iron oxide reacting with aluminum solid. And... Iron oxide became reduced to become iron solid and aluminum became oxidized. Now, the second reaction we looked at where zinc solid is in a, nit in a copper nitrate solution and what happened is zinc displaced copper in its solution becoming zinc nitrate solution and a copper solid. So, I hope this was clear for you guys. 
in the next video we're gonna talk about metals in more details and more properties of metals so stay tuned and thanks for watching